Hey y'all, so as you can see, it's Christmas time, things are looking great, and we are going to be teaching you how to receive your healing through the 12 healing promises of scripture, and that's coming up right now. So if it's your first time here, my name is Pastor Adam, and in this channel, we focus on helping people receive their healing, minister healing, and walk in miracles, signs, and wonders, really walking like Jesus in everyday life. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and join the community. And so what we're doing with this Christmas series is I want to equip you to receive healing better, or really to take a hold of your healing better. And so for the next few weeks, we're going to be going through the 12 healing promises of scripture, and today's focus is on how prospering your soul can help you take a hold of your healing. And so the first healing promise we are going through is in Psalm chapter 103. So you're going to want to turn with me there right now. So Psalm 103 says this in verse 3. It says, Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. God promises in Psalm 103, David is attesting to the reality that God is the God who heals all all your diseases. Isn't that amazing? But now you may be asking, okay, how do I receive then the healing of all my diseases? Well, it tells us in verse one and two, here's what it says. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. David is conveying and telling us that the key to receiving, to receiving forgiveness, to receiving healing is to not forget the benefits of the Lord. I feel like a lot of the times we live forgetting what he says in his word. And the call is to not forget, but to remember. And this is so important. Actually, for a king, they would stress and emphasize how a king needed to go to the Lord to receive healing. That's the place he would go to first for his healing. And that's the same thing we need to do. We need to go to the Lord first. He's the God who heals all your diseases. The next healing promise we're going through comes through Proverbs chapter three. So let's turn there right now. It says this in verse seven as well. It says, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Part of remembering the promises of God and following him and to fear the Lord is to turn away, to put aside evil ways, evil deeds, and to embrace and take a hold of the way God calls us to live, leaving behind sin and darkness and walking in goodness and holiness. And that that actually brings life and health to your flesh, to your bones. It makes you healthier as a person. There's a huge correlation if you look into um, different sciences on these things, how uh, not doing wrong things, how doing right adds life. It's like, it's not stressful. It brings peace. Like you ever feel like when you do good things, it's like, oh, that feels so good. That's actually releasing good chemicals into your body to make you feel good. It's, it's good things that are healthy for your flesh. It's removing stress and anxiety and fear. Just like remembering the teachings of the Lord helps to dethrone stress in your mind and your heart and help you think well. And there's huge connection with thinking well and thinking the scriptures of God that connects to being a healthier person because you're thinking more positively and you're thinking well. And so the third healing promise that we're going to be going through comes from 3 John verse 1 and 2. Let's turn there right now. 3 John verse 1 and 2 says, To the elder, the beloved Gaius, to whom I love in truth, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you, and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. John is showing us that inspired by the Holy Spirit, he writes that his will, that God's will is that for Gaius and for really for people, that they may be health, that they may prosper and be in health, that may be doing well. God's will for you is that you be healthy. We can embrace that. We can take a hold of that promise and believe that. And it happens even as it, our soul, even as our soul prospers. 
there's a really strong correlation when it comes to taking a hold of your healing, receiving your healing. There's a strong correlation to your soul, your mental mind, believing scripture, embracing scripture, running with scripture. There's a huge correlation between that and you actually being a healthy person. The length of days and the years of life they add to you. Friends, we need to get to a place where we think scripture, where we think the word of God, where we believe the word of God, where we embrace the word of God about healing and we don't forget it. That we don't leave it aside that we say, no, this is important truth that I need to apply to my life every single day. So one thing you could even do to not forget the benefits of the Lord is you could even write out like scriptures on sticky notes. Put them around your house. Common places you go on your mirror or whatever in your door to your bedroom so that you read those and you begin to think those scriptures on a daily basis. By the way, if you want to know more about receiving your healing, I got a playlist right here you can check out. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you here next week for part two on how to receive your healing through the healing promises of Christmas. God bless you and we'll see you here next week.